guys welcome back to the vlog i am getting up i am currently at my mom's house i spent a few days here and i actually have a drill this weekend so i'm about to head out and then i'm headed home but i wanted to do a quick intro into the vlog also i've got new hair so i'm trying to navigate and eat that i don't know how long i'm gonna keep it in probably not gonna keep it in for very long just because i don't know i like it but it's not um my leave out is not doing it for me but anyway i as you guys know in my last video i let you know that i got into school and i wanted to take you guys along there's like this whole entire application process as in going to doctors shots uh ppd readings ppt te ppd test ppd readings um and i also have orientation coming up in a couple weeks like everything is kind of happening the summer and then i start school in the fall but i wanted to kind of i wanted to show you all um just take you guys along what we've got to do what we have like a whole checklist and, and all that stuff so i'm finishing up packing i'm pretty much done and then I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head to one of my friends uh, who lives close to the military base that we drill out of. Um, and then I'm gonna head home afterwards. All right, so I just made it. And. Boom, okay. So I got this whole checklist that I need to go over. I think I have to make a an account or something. Let me get my computer. If anyone's ever been to radio school or x-ray school or um, nursing school, did y'all have like this whole checklist that you have to do before orientation or before you start? Because it is a very long list. I've got to update my CPR, which I figured I would have to do anyway. I hope y'all can hear me. Because you are sitting, let me see. Uh, I have to update my CPR certification to BLS. Um, I think mine is expired, so I need to do it anyway. But for healthcare workers, it has to be BLS certified. So I'm gonna I gotta make an appointment for that. Um, fill out all these paperwork and get my immunization. So I guess I have to contact the Department of Public Health in Georgia to send in all of those. Either that, or I think you can get your blood drawn, and you can. They can see like what you have through there. The flu shot, which I did receive with the army, I think within the time frame that they did y'all hear that? That they need. I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Um, and I have to go see my doctor, get a PPD reading or PPT PPD test, and then a reading. And I think you have to do it twice, which I had to do for my job at the hospital because I work at the hospital. Um, and yeah, there's just like this whole list that we have to do, and it's like a lot. But uh, we have orientation, um, I have orientation coming up this month, and all of like a, all of this will probably be explained, and then um, it doesn't have to be done before orientation, thankfully, just before uh, like right before school starts or classes start, so that's good. But I'm excited. Again, let me know in the comments if you have um, gone to nursing school or in nursing school and had to do all this process and like how that was for you because there's a lot of inf information um, to like process and read over and make sure that you don't miss anything. Um, so yeah, I know when I used to work uh, at a doctor's office, uh, a lot of uh, college students would come in and having to do all this stuff and they were just like, it's so much. Um, and they would get their PPD test done and it was just, it's a lot. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is cool. I'm just, I'm really excited for this new chapter in my life. I just, I cannot wait to bring you guys along. So anyway, I am going to freshen up, figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It's just like. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to relax for a little bit and then I will figure out what's going on with my um, checklist. So, all right. So, made it to drill. I've got some time for on lunch so I can go over some things. Oh, I need to get a new computer case. That's definitely going to need that now since I'm back in school full time. My glasses on my hair. 
Oh, I decided to take my hair out. It was just too much, too much for me. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some um, clip-ins and yeah. <laughs> Um, but I need to make some phone calls to my doctor, set up some appointments. Um, let's see, but I think I only have one more thing to get done before actual orientation, so that's good. And then I think I said it earlier, I just there's other things on the checklist that we need to do. Um, but I think they'll tell us like how to go about that because I'm pretty sure I'd have to call Department of Public Health to get my shot records and stuff. But I don't think I need that right now. Photos of your health forms and upload all current documents, documentation to complete, to complete before orientation. Okay, let me read through this and then I'll see. All right, so I just got home from drill. Let me clean y'all off there. And I'm just kind of getting settled in. Room's a mess. Y'all know the spiel. But I'm um, in a three-day drill. And let me set you guys up here. I um, am trying to get my life organized and figure out ahead of time how I'm going to have everything organized um, for the semester. I really, um, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little intimidated. I'm very excited that, you know, I got in. But I want to be prepared. And I know that I mean I feel like you can be prepared just a little bit but I'm <laughs> I'm on Amazon right now because I am literally debating if I want to buy um the skeleton off of Amazon like it's like a life-size skeleton you know how we have in biology class like in high school or college let me show y'all hold on let me make sure there's nothing personal on here I don't think so no um but I'm thinking about buying this. It's for sixty nine dollars. It's not that bad. And everyone's saying in the in the comments or the reviews that everything is like it's it's, it's accurate. So I asked my mom. I texted her. I was like, "Do you think I should buy this?" And she's like, "I mean, it, yeah, like it's a good idea." She's like, "Don't you think it's a good idea?" But like, who would have? I would just have this in my house, just sitting. Am I crazy? Just a little bit, right? Hold on. Sorry, I look busted. Okay, let me sit y'all there. So, also our AC isn't working, and the AC repair guy, we, our neighbor actually, they um, repair ACs or like fix, they're like HVAC technicians, so they said they had a few people in front of us like that they had to do today, so I'm very grateful I would have awesome neighbors, but anyways. I'm dying and I turned the fan off so I could talk to you guys, but I'm really thinking about buying the skeleton. And we're gonna have it like either either, uh, either in our guest room or like just chilling in our living room. <laughs> Wouldn't that be super weird, but super funny. Um, but I'm also, I need to get my um, planner as well because I wanna kind of, um, tomorrow I will be calling um my doctor to get my doctor's appointment set up there's like this i'm waiting on my shot records to come in from the department of public health and um yeah we're just getting the ball rolling there's a few things i have to do before the actual um orientation so now for now i'm contemplating whether or not i want to buy a skeleton a little update our neighbor came by to check our hvac system up in the attic it looks like they're he said the blower fan or something is broken so we're gonna be without ac tonight um kenny is currently at lowe's right now getting something to give us some relief because he's now shut the technician shut off the uh system altogether like everything's off so it's literally like 90 degrees inside right now so the floors are sweating the walls are sweating but hey our new paint we just painted our room the new paint is uh, holding up pretty well down here in the low country, so can't complain with that. Um, at least we're getting to test that out. But um, I wanted to do something, a celebratory thing, and like throw away my little study cubby thingies. I studied off of this thing for six months, and I can officially throw away all of my study material for the teas, and I could not be more happier. Um, all of my... Hold on. All of my little flashcards I had, um, just notebooks, everything can now officially be trashed. It is irrelevant. 
and I'm so happy. I was like, I'm just gonna leave this here. This has literally been sitting in the corner for probably a month because I, after I took the teas, I think I had like a month up until uh, we had to apply for the program. Um, my little calculator. I've had this calculator since high school or middle school actually. Thank you, appreciate you. But you're going in there. Um, all of my little flashcards. These are science, math, English, everything. We can be trashed. Unless, I mean, if somebody wants these, I would totally send it to somebody for free. Um, but yeah, trashed. Um, sticky notes, notepads, all of this can go. Like these are all notes and everything. What is this? That was just a note. And then all this paper, scratch paper, y'all. I'm gonna keep this obviously for the printer. Um, I uh, actually purchased um, Future RN and Amy, Dr. Amy Weinberg, I think I pronounced her last name correctly. Um, she has a tea study plan that I followed. I didn't follow it great because my attention span a little bit, you know, but I, I worked through a lot of her modules and stuff. Her and um, Nurse Chung is awesome. Uh, what's his name? Brandon, I think it is, for math, like everything. You don't necessarily have to buy this, but she literally hits every single topic that, um, what is that site? It's like going, oh, ATITs, I think it is, like has on their website, like what to possibly expect to have on the test. But anyway, she just has this whole study plan. It goes into depth. She has a lot of test questions. Um, you can buy uh, different plans, and then she also extends it um, for longer if you need it longer, which I did, and she like discounts it. So that's awesome. You can t you definitely can tell she's doing it to actually help people and not just make money. Obviously, she's making money off of it, but I, it's truly like a passion of hers. And then I also watched a lot of lives and. Um, yeah, hold on. I think my phone's ringing. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And all my little notebooks. I literally had this for, like, bullet journaling at one point, And then I turned it into my little study notebook. So, I think I'll save this for something else. There's still lots of pages, so I might just keep it. Um, what else? All of my little metric thingies can go in the recycle. I'm so happy. Uh, I don't have to think about this anymore. Um, deionization, all that atomic radius crap can go. These little books full of Punnett squares. There's our, there are pages left in here, I think. We might use, I don't want to waste paper, so we might keep, I might keep the notebooks just for scratch paper. Who knew this would turn into a purge? necessary this has literally been looming over my soul for a year um and i literally had a book for each subject um so this is science i had another one for math and all that good stuff so anyway definitely recommend amy weinberg and nurse chung they're awesome they do lives they do uh i literally probably watched every single tiktok that <laughs> they created um they have facebook support groups um everything just Y'all, you can do it. I'm a living testimony or a testament. Like, you can do it. Sorry, my glasses are crooked. I, I really need to get new glasses. We're gonna get new glasses before we start school. But anyway, um, I'm a living testament. I graduated high school over 10 years ago in college seven years ago. So, I was very intimidated to go back to school and I'm almost 30 now and it's just weird, you know, like I'm probably going to be the oldest person in the school or not school in the class. Maybe. I mean, I went to school with like 30 year olds when I was 20. I thought they were old, um, which now they're probably almost 40. But anyways, <laughs> but you can do it like it, anything is possible if you set your mind to it. I studied my ass off for this. Um, just. The, the sky is the limit and obviously this is like if they're at the very beginning um, stages I know I have a lot more to go and a lot more you know hardship coming but I got over the first hurdle so anyway I'm going to end the vlog here um I think Kenny's on his way with the AC stuff so I'm going to deal with that 
and hopefully all this humidity can go away and I'm gonna throw this into the recycle.